Hey everyone, good morning. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Taipei, Taiwan. This is our last full day here, and so we're gonna run around and try to do some things. Uh, but we are starting with a trip to the Maokong Gondola, which is a cable car. And we tried to come here last week, but when we came, the weather uh, got stormy and so the gondola was closed and so we weren't able to take it. So we're, we are back this morning, gonna do that first thing. We took the train to Taipei Zoo, Zoo Station and we're on our way now. All right. We are arriving to the Ma Maokong Gondola. It's right at 9.30 a.m. They have said we can use our Easy Card, which is the same as the Metro Card. So that is very convenient. We're just gonna take the regular cabin here. Although they do have glass bottom cabins, I think, or gondolas. We're just gonna go for the regular thing though. All right, that was easy. What I'm loving about this gondola right now, riding in here, is that it is extremely peaceful and quiet. Uh, you can barely hear the sound of the, of the gondola, but then outside you can really hear the sound of the birds and the forest and I'm not sure what, what are all those things? Crickets or something? Jingli. Jingli da. Oh, jingli da. You can see the Taipei 101 poking above the mountain over there. We are on our way to the final station, and now there are some great views of Taipei and of the mountain, forested mountains. We arrived to Maokong Station, and that took a lot longer than I expected. I think it took about almost 30 minutes. Uh, but it was well worth the ride, some great views, and I really liked the peacefulness of it. Uh, so we are in Maokong now, it looks like it's kind of a touristy town with some tea shops and restaurants, and yeah, I, I guess this is a big tea growing area. And we're just gonna walk around for a little bit, probably not spend too much time here because we have a lot of things to do today, but just walk around for a little bit and then take the gondola back. あ、超豆腐。あ、超豆腐。あ、超豆腐。あ、超豆腐。あ、超豆腐。あ、超豆腐。あ、超豆腐。あ、超豆腐。あ、超豆腐。あ、超豆腐。あ、超豆腐。あ
<laughs> okay, I wish you guys could see my lens, but I have like some stinky tofu sauce on here that I'm gonna clean off. <laughs> okay, is the lens clear? Okay, anywhere. Oh. Okay, <clears throat> that was a successful stop. That stinky tofu was delicious. I might have some stinky tofu burps on the gondola back. But that's basically all we're gonna do. We can't spend too much time here. It would be a nice place to spend a little more time and drink some tea. Uh, but we're gonna head back because we have more things to do today. We're back on solid ground. Heading to the metro station now to go to Chiang Kai-shek to go to a restaurant for lunch. We just got to Chiang Kai-shek and took exit number two. And we are heading to one of the most well-known places to eat braised pork rice in Taipei. So that's where we're heading now. Oh, it's right in front of me. But I think we're gonna make a full video about this restaurant uh, because it's such a well-known restaurant. And I'm just gonna show you a quick overview of the food. And here's the food we're gonna eat. This is the most famous dish here called Luro Fun, which is the braised pork and rice, which is like one of the Taiwanese national dishes. And it is really good, I already tasted it. But also got some vegetable here and some eggs and tofu. We just finished with lunch. That was enjoyable and that's a very popular spot. Uh, a little bit chaotic and crazy, uh, but yeah, the braised pork rice was very tasty and I really liked the vegetables as well as the uh, tofu and the soup. That combination of that meal was very good. Now we are going back to the metro and we are gonna go to Ban Chao Station and go to a, uh, what is it? I think kind of a museum, uh, but in an old mansion and a garden, a Chinese garden. We are gonna take exit number one, walk all the way through here, and get over to the Lin's family mansion and garden. I actually made a little bit of a mistake. I think we should have gone one more metro station further to Fu Zhong Station, uh, but we got out at Ban Chao, so we have a little bit longer of a walk. Uh, that station is a little bit closer, but it's still not far from this station. So I think we should be to the Lin's family mansion probably in about 15 minutes or so. That walk took just about 15 minutes and we have arrived to the Lin, Lin family garden and mansion. But this is supposed to be a traditional Chinese style mansion and villa. Uh, they do have tours of inside the mansion which you can sign up for, but when we entered right now they said they only have tours in Chinese. walking through this little tunnel. I'm not sure where it goes, uh, but I'm really liking visiting this mansion and this garden. It has a really ancient, kind of crumbling, rotting feel to it, but really beautiful. The trees are amazing, and where does this take me? Oh, I see, it just takes me across to the next garden. That was very cool, I enjoyed it. It kinda was like a miniature Chinese version of Angkor Wat, uh, which is the which are the temples, the ancient temples in Cambodia. But well worth a visit. Uh, I especially like the gardens. We just got off the metro station at B Men Station. We're gonna try to go visit the Puppet Theater Museum, which is a little walk from here, and also take a walk down, I think you say it Dihua Street, uh, which is they said there are some nice cafes and shops and tea stores. So that's what we're gonna do now. Uh, so far, I am seeing clothes and a few snack stores and cafes. And I think I can smell some tofu. We've made it to the Taiyuan Asian Puppet Theater Museum, uh, right in front of me. 
We're gonna go walk around and check it out and I have no idea what to expect. And it costs 80 Taiwan dollars for entrance. And this is supposedly has a very large collection of Asian puppets as well as uh, international puppets. And there are performances, but no performances today uh, from what she said. Uh, so we're just gonna walk around the museum and see the puppets and the collection of puppets. The Puppet Museum is pretty cool if you like fine arts and theater. Uh, some of the puppets are very, very detailed and very uh, artistic. We are now gonna walk around down there uh, on the street where there's a shopping district, and then we're gonna go to a park. And mostly what they have are Chinese medicines, uh, lots of herbs and spices, teas, um, bird's nest, and all sorts of interesting uh, items and Chinese medicine. And there are a lot of good nuts and dried fruit and all sorts of things. Yeah, I just tasted some Sichuan peppercorn and my entire mouth is just like buzzing. I'm like creating saliva. Well, that's amazing. But anyway, I just went to a shop and bought some Sichuan peppercorn and I cannot wait to make some chili sauces with this. I just took the MRT to NTU Hospital, exit number one to 228 Memorial Park, and now walking around the park, uh, which is, from what I understand, the first park set up in Taiwan, and the park has a number of different sections, as well as a number of different memorials, and going to walk around and see it now. We made it back to our area of town. We are both very tired uh, and hungry also. So Ying and I are gonna go check out a hot pot restaurant that we saw uh, walking around the other day, which is right across the street from our hotel. And we both really like eating hot pot because you can eat lots of vegetables and it's pretty healthy and not so oily and tastes great and it's fun. So, okay, so here's the restaurant right here. And gonna go have dinner. And we got one plate of pork and then also some fish over there. Um, and then the, I guess the famous thing about this restaurant is that they serve a hot pot in a stone pot. So that is a, that is a pretty awesome pot. Oh, and that is hot. Yeah, stone pot and then just filled with, came filled with vegetables, uh, tofu, there's some seafood down there. And Ying is cooking everything already. Okay, time to taste a piece of the fish. And this clay pot is pretty awesome. Or clay, or I think it's stone actually. This stone pot. And then the sauce tastes a little bit like, it kind of has a, oh, oh no, my fish just fell apart. Um, it kind of has a miso flavor to it. Dip it in the sauce. Get some of those chilies and green onions. And, oh man, I don't want my fish to fall apart. Oh, it just did, in the sauce. That fish is so tender. Oh, and really fresh. And then, yeah, that sauce has a little bit of a, a miso-like flavor to it. Uh, with really great, good green onions and chilies in there. Ying and I are gonna sit here and finish off the contents of our bubbling stone pot. Uh, very good food. Thank you very much for watching this video today. Uh, it's been a busy day and we did quite a few things. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. This is our last full day in Taipei and tomorrow we are going to the Philippines. So stay tuned for that and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.